Right. So that is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising, a weekly general tarot reading March 2nd to uh, March 8th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below where you're going to find a link to my website. Uh, from which you can purchase such. So uh, the first card which stands as a topic of your uh, week Capricorn is going to be the King of Cups. Moving next here it is the energies feeding up the topic and the team that is going to be the Empress. After that we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout uh, the week that is going to be the Eight of Cups. Uh, afterwards, we do have the gifts and the blessings here uh, of the week, that is to be the Queen of uh, Wands. Then it is uh, what kind of impression you are leaving into the people around, how, how people around are going to take on you. That is to be the uh, Temperance. And the last one, uh, which is the Guidance the Tower is offering. Uh, we do have the tower quite fitting, to be honest, with uh, with the rest of the cards. So what we do have here, it is that um, uh, you are definitely undergoing some sort of a transformation and transition that can be that can be see, seen uh, in three of the cards. Uh, uh, that is to be the Eight of Cups here, the Temperance, and then the Tower cards. And the circumstances are described here into the Empress and the King of Wands. So what those two cards are pointing is that you do have a person who can serve as an anchor, okay, as an anchor that can keep you grounded and that can give you stability, reliability and foundation, if you will, no matter what you are going through, either a career catharsis or a, a, a relationship turmoil. Now, energies like uh, with the Queen of... Uh, not the queen but the empress i'm sorry a bit tired here anyway so with the empress uh it does look like that this week is going to ground you and make you more mature toward a certain situation that you are going and living through um the reason for it it is so at the end of the day whatever decision you do have in terms of how to proceed with that situation either career or relationship wise it is the uh the most balanced and well found in terms of your personal well-being we're not talking here even about happiness we're talking about well-being that's uh to have your life structured solid secured and etc etc now the happiness um, kind of like falls in a different uh, category here if i may say because uh, uh, just to give you an example you can be happy if you execute a, a personal project that can let you be in fire so you're going to be happy for a short amount of time but you are going to lose stability okay so that week is entirely you focusing on what is substantial in your life and what can produce fruits um results you know and in generally can exert longevity and uh, can secure your foreseeable future uh, and that comes from a person uh, king of cups here so king of cups these are people who can endure a lot i'm saying that because they are most likely uh, are your follower uh, they are your companion for a, quite a while. Having the Empress here as an energy card, these people doesn't just come like that. They they know you very well. And although uh, uh, that person may not be quite pleased uh, in, in what kind of a state you are, they are also kind of tied to the fact that they have to see this thing through with you as well. Now, that person could be your wife, it could be your husband or a partner in business. But the thing is that they do not allow, once again, their emotions to, 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 to kind of take the better of them. And this is the solo reason why you are not having a, a tremendous scandals uh, or, or big fights, for example, into your environment, either career or a relationship wise. Now, the King of Cups, they are usually uh, following the maximum relative. They cannot help they do not interfere but this time around for what it seems they can definitely help you with whatever you're going through because the rest of the cards here shows that you are going through quite a lot 
for what it seems. And uh, <clears throat> uh, with the helping hand, then the King of Cups is going to offer you, uh, now that I think of it could be a good friend of yours, okay? But this is to be an emotional and guiding helping hand. It's, it's not going to be a material, so they, 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 they won't take on your things and solve your problems on their own or on their own or on their account but they will most likely guide you through advice you know kind of like shared knowledge experience and etc etc and with this help you will be able to kind of like center yourself another thing with those cards is that this week you, it, it will be a bit quiet for you because you alone will decide to withdraw from everything from all the BS around, okay? Uh, and uh, that instead of being aggravated and highly emotionally swirled this way and that way, you will decide to seclude yourself so you can uh, regain a little bit of a, a emotional or a lot of emotional groundness and, and balance. So at the end of the day, you can uh, decide how to maneuver and how to act moving forward. Why? Well, it's because we do have uh, this card here as a challenges Capricorn and challenging the card points that it is what it is. Although the current situation may be not as good as you wanted it to be, maybe a total failure um, opposite to what you imagined to be. Maybe it's not, as uh, it's, it's not as satisfiable as you have expected it to be. It is what it is. And instead of trying to recapturing today, which is going to make you lose tomorrow, you should focus entirely on tomorrow. So that is your challenge. Not to focus on what could have been, but to focus on what can be. And uh, that being said, the card points put your back against your past and just move toward the future because a much brighter perspectives are awaiting you there. Uh, next one, uh, it is the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. Now, that is another person. Uh, and uh, this one, however, uh, is going to serve as an, an example. Okay, That could be um, someone that have endured similar things and they are still standing. So you will, you will kind of, that, that will get the better of you here. And instead of kind of like a, a falling down spiritually, for example, or emotionally, you are going to, pick up yourself together, get a grip, and try to follow the example of the Queen of Wands, that particular person. Uh, so in other words, this is someone who gives you the recipe of their success that can be incorporated in your um, in your personal uh, things that you're going through. From another hand, the Queen of Wands as well could represent a, a very, very good business partner. I'm saying that because the Queen of Wands, it is, it has that acute business sense and knows exactly uh, what needs to be done in order to be successful and lucrative. Now that is very difficult, uh, different, excuse me, from the Queen of Swords, which is a bit more stubborn than the Queen of Wands. I will try to explain you the difference. So both queens they are very capable to kind of like manifest things but the queen of swords does not bail out she tries constantly if it doesn't happen one way she will try another while the queen of wands if it does not happen from the first and second try she's more prone to bail out on it and retry with something completely different until a, a lucrative endeavor happens so that is a, a very flexible business partner if uh, if that is the manifestation uh, for you and lastly as a gift and blessing that could be a quite sort of an, a handsome and enthralling person that comes around that you get to flirt with as well but that comes sidewise from the main objective of the uh, of the week according to this reading and that is to ground yourself and to calm yourself down and make the most found decisions for how to proceed forward. So moving next, uh, it is uh, uh, the uh, temperance card and this is how people actually see you. So uh, uh, people are kind of feeling pity on you for a reason being it is that they are, um, I don't know how to say it in English, but they kind of have the impression that you are going through a, a lot. And, and that pro that's probably true, okay? But also, uh, they're acknowledging that they can't really help you because you have to go through this thing uh, through this thing alone. Just to give you an example of it, uh, 
uh, you know, you uh, say you had a breakup recently, they can't suffer for you through that, uh, for you through that breakup. I mean, you have to do it on your own accord, but they will acknowledge that, uh, you know, you have enough to deal with right now. So they ain't going to um, kind of like bother you with their things and, and with their agendas. But instead, for what it seems, people are to leave you alone whenever you need so with uh, the temperance card. And additionally to that, you can face a lot of solidarity and compassion from those people. No criticism is to be expected throughout the week whatsoever. And the last card that we do have for you, Capricorn, is going to be the Tower card, which is the Guidance. And the Tower card points the more you try to go against and struggle against what it is transforming or in other words what is what is happening through an unpleasant circumstances the more suffering you are to endure the worse the situation gets unfortunately with the tower card there is no other way but to give yourself to it completely you just go through it you live through it drink through it sleep through it whatever you gotta do just you know so it can pass through you that being said uh tower card here points that whatever uh you are giving up on throughout the week you know that could be i don't know a job suitor or whatever uh, as we saw that you are putting your back against it here that doesn't mean that you are depriving yourself from similar or from that cluster of events for your future example if that's um unsuccessful um attempt for make a relationship that doesn't mean that you're going to be single all of your life uh, with the tower card just on the contrary that thing happens so you can pick up the pieces that have been shattered back in the days and you can restructure them this time around with much more potential to a grow so that being said ultimately at the end after this turmoil ends uh it will have nurturing and cleansing effects upon your life whatever it takes place either career relationship or maybe in both places so that being said capricorn this was your weekly general tower reading march 2nd to march 8th 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, through which uh, you can purchase such. Hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.